address the whole question of student housing, which is, as we, what is there, like 40% of the uh, of the housing now in Corvallis is rental housing related to student housing. So we just felt like this is a good opportunity to take that first step going forward. We didn't do the analysis that someone like yourself might do. Thanks. I guess it's based off the levy that we recently passed. This this development, there's no reason for us not to expect uh, the taxpayers to all see an increase in taxes in order to pay for the policing, the extra policing that the student housing complex will require because that's what we've established with this line pass levy is that taxpayers will pay for the additional policing needs that student housing requires. So that's one reason that I'm opposed to seeing this development before as, as it stands. Um, further, the planning commission, I attended the planning commission deliberations on this, and I think the reason that they really said no is because there's no comprehensive plan in place for the city, and, and, and they're frustrated with the fact that they continue to be asked to uh, consider developments in a piecemeal fashion. There isn't a comprehensive plan for the city. And in this instance, we have 900 students that are going to be placed far from campus. So we're designing in daily commutes. We know where students want to go. They want to go to school. They want to go to classes multiple times a day. They want to move back and forth. And they want to go downtown. So we know in this particular instance, we know this population and what their behavior is and what their desire is. And yet we're designing into our city daily commutes. This is, you know, as one of the students uh, testified earlier, OSU's uh, a university that's concerned about the environment. And this this development is not sustainable in that, in that sense. At the planning commission, one of the commissioners brought up the land that um, made the most sense for this type of development, and that's the undeveloped land, undeveloped land that OSU has within walking distance of the campus. And what I would offer the council is that this is this is an opportunity that the council needs to take. Student housing should be high density. It should be high density, and it should be close to campus and close to where students need to go. We need Corvallis needs more land for people to own for people to occupy and own and make a home in. And it, as we continue to, to turn land that is residential into, into rental, we reduce the likelihood and reduce the availability of land for people to own. And I think that that's a big mistake for Corvallis. I think Corvallis needs to maximize the amount of land that people can actually own. And each time we put a student housing development in, that's not really high density. The dorms are really high density. Each time we do that, we reduce the amount of land that people can own. And I think that's a big mistake for Corvallis and Corvallis' future. Thank you. Are there questions? Councilor Bilstein? I, um, I don't want to make this a debate, but I guess that's what I'm doing. But what, uh, what you can you consider, this is less than two miles from the center of campus. I mean, any place on the development, it's less than two miles. But you consider that too long a commute? You think, uh, you think that, uh, you know, I mean, two miles seems easily walkable or bikeable to me. I mean, the, the distance, uh, I can see that the agricultural land you're talking about, if we had you know, any ability to zone that differently, uh, you know, it might be better. It would be more convenient than this location. But what, what would you consider a reasonable commute for uh, students to, you know, if you consider two miles too far, less than two miles? I don't consider two miles too far. I, I, I'm an avid biker and walker. Uh, but I think students do. And if you look at the uh, planning work, the traffic and parking planning work, the collaboration for this project, the traffic study that they, uh, that they contracted, it demonstrated that students are, are not walking that far. Students are driving at shorter distances than two miles. 